Hi, this is Joe Heron with Aquarius Fishing. Today, we are going to tie the EP Gotcha Fly. I've chosen a Temco 811S hook in a size number 6. We are going to start by tying in our bead chain close to the eye of the hook. Remember to leave a bit of space next to the eye to allow room for additional tying materials. If you notice, I'm using a powder coated black bead chain as opposed to the typical chrome beads you see on a lot of fly patterns. If you don't properly flush your flies with fresh water after every use, chrome bead chain will produce corrosion and discolor the fibers of the fly. The painted black chain will not corrode. In addition, black bead chain can be used to represent eyes on a large selection of saltwater fly patterns. Next, let's grab a bit of orange fiber for the head of the fly. Tie the orange fiber in at the bend of the hook, roughly the length of the shank. Clip off the excess and feel free to shape the remainder of the fibers to length. Next, let's take several strands of pearl crystal flash. However, be careful not to overdo it. Three strands folded in half creating six total strands is more than enough. Tie your crystal flash in over the orange fiber. Feel free to spread out the strands evenly across the top of the orange. We'll cap off the front of the fly with some waspy silly legs. Typically, I choose a color that complements the overall color palette of the fly, but offers a small amount of contrast. In this case, I'm using a speckled shrimp pink color. Keep your legs even in length and tie them in over the crystal flash. The length should extend over the orange fiber a bit, creating or simulating movement for the fly. For the body, we are going to use tan, half-inch EP Wooly Critter brush. Secure the wire end to the fly, just behind the orange fibers. Cut the remaining wire with an old pair of scissors or wire cutters, as the wire is sure to dull your good tying scissors. For the underbody, I am choosing a shell pink ice dubbing, which will complement the colors inside the EP brush. Remember to apply the dubbing to the thread sparingly and build it up over time. Then, wrap your dubbing towards the eye of the hook. Now, take the brush and begin wrapping over the ice dub. However, space out the brush, allowing the pink ice dub to show through. This will allow the fly to appear translucent in the water, resembling a ribbing effect. Tie off the brush and use your old scissors to snip the wire. For the wing material, I am choosing a tan EP fiber. Choose a proper amount that is twice the length of the hook. Tie in the wing next to the eye and add a few jam wraps to secure it in place. Feel free to trim the wing to length, removing any stray fibers. I also like to shape the wing a bit to curve downward towards the hook. Taking a brown permanent marker, place four to five bars across the width of the wing. 
pink marker works as well. Tie in another group of three to four strands of crystal flash and a jam wrap behind. Follow your crystal flash with two more Wapsie Silly Legs, same color as you used previously. Trim your legs the length of the wing, making sure they are even. However, be careful not to stretch the legs when trimming, as your legs will become much shorter than intended. And to finish off the fly, choose two strands of black crystal flash. Tie in the black flash to represent the antennas of the shrimp. Trim beyond the legs and the wing. Finally, let's finish off the head. Whip finish your head and trim off the remaining thread. Using Loon UV Clear, cover the head sparingly, spreading it out. A UV light will cure the cement. And finally, let's repeat to the top of the fly. Feel free to pick out any fibers ever so carefully. And here you have the EP Gotcha Fly. This fly can be tied in a variety of colors ranging from tan, pink, white, olive, and brown. This is a great fly for bonefish and an excellent choice while fishing the flats with Aquarius in Cozumel.